Ayo, duckies, Andy Lippy here, and this is a first. This is a video about slobs. That's right, Stream Labs OBS. We're making your streams interactive. Using Streamabot, super easy to do. You guys that have been using slobs for a while have been looking for ways to use channel points on Twitch to change things in OBS. Well, now you can. We're going to run through some of the basics, and obviously, this, I just want it to just open your mind to what you can do, okay? This is just a little crash course on what is possible, all right? Obviously, there's few things that aren't available like you can do in traditional OBS obviously due to limitations with certain third-party plugins like shader filters and things like that but hopefully this just opens up your horizons to do kind of a bit more of an interactive stream using Streamlabs OBS so let's get into it put your rock up the stone let's go Right, so let's jump into it. I'm taking into account that you've already got Streamlabs OBS installed, but we need to go and download Streamabot. I've got a couple of videos on Streamabot already, and I'll be doing more in the future, so make sure you are subscribed for that. So you just get it from the streamer.bot website, which is just here, if I don't break the zoom, that is. And we just download it here. We've also got Twitch Speaker as well, which we can. I've done a video about a little bit, so I'll leave that link in the description. So we're gonna download Streambot just here. And it's just going to download a cheeky little zip file just there. We can open it up and you'll see we've got everything in here ready to go. It doesn't install um, to your PC. It just runs directly from a folder. So we need to extract the folder. So we're just going to extract all and extract it to wherever you want. Make sure you just leave it there though. Don't start moving it around afterwards. Uh, it just it saves you some headache along the way, trust me. And then we can just double click to open it. So open up the EXE and your PC is going to be all protected in that. And you're like, yo, 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 it's cool. So we press more info and press run anyway. It'll take a second to load up. It's going to create all like the backup folders and everything like that, which is really nice in Streamabot. If anything goes wrong, you've always got a backup. So we, we're greeted with this kind of blank screen just here. What we need to do is go to slobs in the top right there and then we're going to right click in this middle page and press add make sure we've got slobs open so you can see i've got just blank streamlabs obs just here i've got no scenes really i've just got two scenes with nothing on uh, when i go back to streamlabs obs the connection by default should be 127.0.0.1 and also the port is 59650 uh, that could be different on your end, but the way that you can go and find that is in slobs, go down to the settings menu and then go in the middle to remote control. And then make sure you don't show this on stream. Uh, just click it to reveal and press show details. And you'll have your token and everything just here. So we can generate a new token anytime we need as well, which is really nice. So we just copy this API token and we're gonna go back to Streamabot and paste it in the token menu, just there. Go back to the settings, and this is where you can check if that port is correct. So 59650, as you can see, by default, that is correct. So I don't need to edit the port information there. And the host, this is your local host, so that's perfectly fine. So we can give it a name, so I'm just going to put slobs1, uh, for instance, put whatever you want. Auto connect on startup, I usually recommend that, and reconnect on disconnect. And you can do retry as well, how, how quickly it retries it when it does disconnect. I just leave it as 30 seconds by default. Press OK, and that is it. We're, it currently it says we're disconnected, so if I right click and press connect, that is going to connect us and you should see all the information here so what current scene we're on it'll say what sources are on that scene and it'll say whether or not you're streaming at the moment it'll say all that information so you'll know it's connected and the fact that it says connected is a big big help there next up we want to make our streams interactive so we need to connect to twitch so we press connect to twitch at the bottom it's going to open up in a web browser just here and it'll say oh it, is this you that's logged in whether or not you're logged into your bot account or your account or whatever if not you can log out log into your twitch account just press authorize and it'll say you can close this window and return to the application to continue so jump back to streamabot it'll say disconnect from twitch there now at the bottom and when you go to the viewers section you'll see everyone's there oh my mum's here what an absolute babe <laughs> So you can see we are definitely connected there because it's pulling everybody that's currently in your uh, stream. Now we can start making some fun stuff. So I'm just going to open up Streamlabs just here, close down my settings menu because I don't need that anymore. I'm just going to create a source. 
So I'm going to add a new source. We're going to create a webcam source. I'm going to use a video capture device. Uh, mine is a little bit strange. Uh, so I'm just going to call this webcam for now because I'm using my webcam to currently uh, video this video. Video this video? That sounds stupid. Um, so I'm going to be using an OBS virtual camera. Yours can be absolutely anything. It's completely up to you. We can resize this. We can obviously use all the transform that we want to do. So I'm just going to say fit to screen. Uh, and we've got my webcam on there like so. So if I go back to streamer bot now and on this actions panel that we're in, so up at the top, actions, we can right click and add an action. So I'm going to call this um, webcam off slash, uh, in fact, I'll do it webcam on slash off. Right, so we can put it in a group and stuff. I've obviously been in depth on different videos about that. So make sure you do check it in the streamer bot playlist. There's a lot of information in there. I'm going to press OK. And now on the right hand side, we can create a sub action. So this is what we want that action to do when we press it or when the Twitch chat uses a command for it. So if I right click now and go to add action, there's a little menu that says slobs at the bottom. So we can flip the source, we can get the current scene that we're on, uh, we can hide a group. So if you've got a group of um, sources, we can hide all the sources in there. We can hide all the filters. We can tell uh, our stream to start recording. We can rotate a source, change scene, uh, change uh, set a browser URL. Uh, so this, you can use that to put people's images on screen by using the profile picture. Again, there is a tutorial for that. Uh, we've got set text. So if we've got a text source, we can set that and all this stuff just here. So I'm actually going to use the set source visibility for now. So I select that and you'll see the connection is slobs one and we've got the scene just here, which is new scene which I've got something on and you'll see the source. You can press the drop down and see the sources. And I can do a toggle switch just here. So if I just test, you'll see in the background that's turning my webcam on and off. So we can see that it works, okay? So I'm just gonna press okay. And we've added that in now. So say if we wanna make a channel point, for instance, so chat can turn that command off or maybe a chat command, we can set that up as well. So I'm gonna show you a channel point. We're gonna to go to channel points and we're just gonna right click and press add. And now we can give it a title. So turn off webcam, for instance. This is just a basic tutorial, okay? Uh, this is the prompt that we can put for um, when you select a channel point, it'll say, oh, this this does this, etc." So this turns off and is webcam. Uh, and we can change the cost and everything. We can do all the kind of uh, cooldown stuff and everything like that. So you can make it only redeemable every so often, etc. And at the bottom, we press action and we select the action that we want it to do when this channel point is pressed. So we want webcam on and off. Press OK. And that's created it. You should see that it has created this little action menu and you can see on, on this side, webcam on and off is selected. So anytime that channel point now is used, it will turn the webcam on and off, which is pretty cool. Let's test it. So loading up my Twitch chat just here, you can see um, I've got my channel points down at the bottom. I'm gonna select that and press turn off my webcam. Press redeem, it turns my webcam off in Streamlabs. If I press it again, because I've used it as a toggle switch, it'll turn it back on. So that is how to create a basic channel point command. We can do even more if we wanted to. So if we right click on our source and we've added some filters, for instance, so I'm going to press the plus sign and I'm going to change, the, I'm going to add a color correction and make a really, really stupid thing. So I'm going to crank the gamma right up. I'm going to add contrast, boom that up, turn the brightness down a little bit and turn the saturation right up and get something really, really hideous like so. And let's even change the hue as well. Okay, this looks atrocious. Maybe turn the opacity down a little bit because that'll let the black bleed through a little bit and press done. So now I've got this really hideous filter. So we want my chat to be able to turn it on and off with a chat command. So I'm gonna go to actions and we're gonna create a new action. So on the left, we right click and press add. I'm gonna call this Hulk mode, you know, cause I'm green. I'm just going to press OK. You can mess around with queues and groups to, to organize your commands as well and make them only happen one at a time. But again, I've got other videos on that. I'm going to right click on the sub action of Hulk mode and we're going to press add action, go down to slobs and you'll see we've actually got 
source filter state. Or we can do a random filter as well if you've got more than one, which is really cool. So I'm gonna do a source filter state just here. So I'm gonna select that. And again, it fills it out with my slobs connection. We've got the scene that we're on, which is new scene, the webcam, and it was color correction that we added. So I'm gonna have this on toggle, visible or hidden. So I'm gonna do toggle for now. And when I press test, you'll see in the background, it turns this filter on and off. So it's up to you if you want it for a set amount of time. So for this example, I'm gonna only let it happen for five seconds and then it turns it off. So I'm gonna press visible, press okay. And this time I'm gonna add another action and add a delay. So if I delay it by five seconds, which is 5,000 milliseconds, or you can do a random amount of time if you wanted to, press OK, and I'm gonna create it to turn off. So I go back to add action, go down to slobs, and go down to source filter state. And this time with the same settings, so the new scene, the webcam, and the color correction, this time I'm gonna say hidden, and press OK. So now we can actually resize this, and it'll say, so color correction is visible, wait five seconds, and then hit, um, make sure it's hidden afterwards. So that is all set up, ready to go. Now we need to set up a trigger. So I'm gonna use a chat command this time. So I'm gonna to go to commands, and I'm gonna right click and press add. I'm gonna call this exclamation mark Hulk. So that is what chat is gonna type in, and it's gonna turn me into Hulk mode for five seconds and then turn off. So I'm gonna select the action Hulk mode, and this location is where it this is. So any if I wanted to, I could change it to just Hulk. And anytime somebody says Hulk in the chat anywhere at all, it'll turn us into Hulk for five seconds. But I'm gonna leave it as start for now and leave it as exclamation mark. That you can actually change the source as well, whether or not it's a message, a whisper, on a sub or a resub. But I'm just gonna leave it as a message for now. This is all up to you to change. We can set up user permissions so only subscribers can use it, VIPs. We can have actually so only certain users can use it as well, which is really cool. So I'm just gonna leave it as anybody can use it right now uh, and press OK. And that is all set up. That's linked to that action Hulk mode. So now when I pull up my chat, and just here, and I'm just gonna minimize uh, streamer bot, I'm gonna type in exclamation mark Hulk, like so. It turns into the Hulk, and it'll count down. I'm not pressing anything, as you can see. We look like Hulk, and there we go. That turns it on and off, which is really, really cool. So you can do this for pretty much anything. So you're making a more interactive stream now. Any filters you've got on, if you look down the list again for when we add, we can do slobs and you can just, oh, I've just accidentally clicked on it, like an absolute tool. You can see we've got all these different ones to do as well, like setting browser sources, um, text sources, so you can make welcome messages for people as well by turning sources on and off. It really will blow up if there were more uh, third party plugins and things allowing us to do motion and things like that. I think that's the only thing Slobs is really missing at the moment, especially with this kind of integration. But hopefully that kind of dips your toe in to making a more interactive stream on Streamlabs OBS. I mean, if you've got any questions, please drop it down in the link, uh, the comment section below. Link, I'm um, just saying words now, aren't I? Buzzwords. Do you want some more buzzwords? Yeah, subscription. Yeah, I don't know any more buzzwords. I'm not a buzzword kind of guy. But hopefully that has helped you out, all right, guys? If you want to support me and my content, then consider joining Patreon or the channel members down below. Also, if you do ask questions specific about Streamlabs OBS, I'm not the most knowledgeable, okay? I just want to do a little disclaimer there before I head out. But I'll do my best to try and answer for you, all right? Put your rock with the stone. Much love. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.